Okay, so this video is going to be another way to make your David Oxtoby painting project plan using Photoshop. Let's get to find Photoshop. You go to the bottom window, go up to all programs, Adobe Design Premium. So these are all the design programs. And the one we want to use today is Photoshop, the blue one. Okay, now we're going to open my file of the celebrity that I want to use. So I'm doing Adam Yosh or MCA from the Beastie Boys. I'll show you where to find that. Or your own. So it's in Student Shared, Art, then Visual Art, 10 VRT, and there's only two in here, which is we want to do the David Oxtoby project. Then all the celebrities are in here, plus the grid, which I'll talk about in a second. So let's go to this one. So holding down shift, you can open them all at the same time. Okay, that last one's quite large and that's why it took a long time to open. And once you've got everything open, you might want to go to Window and arrange it nicely. So you do it like a cascade or you could do it like a tile so you can see everything. I'm going to go cascade because I'm going to do it one at a time. So if you go File, New. Okay, so wait, I'll do it again. So File, New. Go to International Paper. You want to do it on A3. It can either be, so here's what where we're going to make our whole plan. Okay. Now one of the first things I want you to do also is to use the grid. Now the grid is inside here as well, so I'll show you the file as well again. So student shared, arts, visual arts, 10VRT, David Ox to be. And then inside here next to all the celebrities is section grid clip art. Now we're going to use this as a way to accurately grid out our plan. So there's only one thing on there, you can literally just drag it. Oh, I can't. You go control A for everything, control X to cut it, and then go on to your A3 size and control V. Okay. Now just put it in the corner and just press control T. And then you're just going to use it to grid out the entire line. Now don't change the ratio. Do it until you get to the bottom, so it's going to be about three across. And it's just going to help you plan your painting. Okay. Now up here there's a layer, so there's background and layer one. So you can just get rid of it because it's not really cool looking so go back to this that's rubbish right now um, I'm gonna rotate the canvas 90 degrees you don't need to but I'm gonna have it in a landscape format okay I'm gonna show you how to make the pattern so I'm gonna do this which is the album cover design just gonna get rid of that using this tool and delete it same with the name I'm gonna go to a magic wand tool Go up to tolerance, make it quite strong at tolerance 20. And you can get rid of the sky as well. Okay, now once again, 
we're going to go control A to select everything, control X to cut it, and control V to cut and paste it in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it in the corner and I'll show you how to make a pattern like so. Alright, also I don't want to have that grey stuff on the top, so I'll get rid of that too. Alright, so there's my city landscape, so I'll just call that city. Now I'm going to go back to here, go step backwards, and I'm going to flip it, so image, rotate canvas horizontally. Okay, so now it's a mirror image of the original. I'm going to control A again, control X to cut it, and control V. Alright, now I've got these two combined together, so I'm going to go over to the layers and press them both with shift and go merge layers and now I can duplicate that whole layer and put it next to it okay, so that looks good and now we've got this, these two and these two you can't see it because it's halfway off because it's too big I'm going to merge those two and now I've got all four of them together. And once again I'm going to go control T to change it. Hold down shift as you do it to keep it in ratio. I'm going to have it on one side of my painting. Okay. Alright. So that's going to be one side. And then I'm going to go duplicate layer again. And there's another one. Except this time I'm going to flip it. So control T again. I'm going to flip it all the way around sure it's as straight as you can make it and bring it up to the top like that so that's going to be my background so now I can merge those two layer merge layers okay so that's my background and I've also got the grid there as well um, and what you could also do if you wanted to would be to get rid of all that white area by holding down shift and the magic wand and all of it at the bottom as well with the magic wand. I'm getting rid of all that white sky. Okay, so let's get rid of the grid again because it's ugly. And let's start moving on to the model. Um, now I'm just going to start with this one and I'll show you a couple of different ways to take out the background. So he's got a black background next time. And when I went to magic wand tool and pressed on it and took out part of this black part of his hoodie as well. I don't really want that, so I'm going to try doing it at 10. That's more like it, although it's still taking out part of his arm. Maybe a little bit less, maybe 5. And now it's not strong enough. So this isn't really working because it's quite a difficult background to use, so instead I'm going to do magic uh, magnetic lasso tool and start at a, a, a definition boundary between the character and the background and the computer can kind of tell the difference in the colors although sometimes it gets it wrong so you just sort of guide it and press as you go smooth surfaces that are nice and easy to tell are quite easy enough sometimes things get a bit strange about around hair or fur but this area is quite hard because the the hoodie is in the in the shadow and this part of the base is hard, and I want to get all those machine heads. We'll see how I go. See, it's not picking those up. But most of the time, it's pretty good. Again, it depends on the background. You know, over here, you're just going to tell the computer that you know that that's part of his clothing. And then just go across carefully until you reach the beginning again, and then the whole thing starts glowing. So we're going to go control X. I got pretty much everything. Go back to uh, painting plan. Go control V and paste it in. Control T to change the shape. Hold down shift as you change the shape. And there's our first layer. Now what I can do is I can put him behind the city. So I'll just call this one uh, base. And if I drag it, I can pull it behind the cities. 
so it can look like he's playing behind the cities like that, if he wanted to. Remember, it's just a plan. Okay, so... Let's go back to another one. That's rubbish. Don't need that. Okay, let's use a different way to get this. So, magic wand isn't picking up enough because it's not strong enough, so it may be picked up to 20. Still quite a difficult surface to do. Doing most of it, but not all of it. So I might instead go to quick selection tool. And sometimes you might find this works better depending on what the background is. And this is one of those cases when it's definitely working better. Delete. Again, it just depends on the color of the background or what the person's wearing or lots of different um, formalities. There's one little area missing in here, but I can quickly just cut that off with the lasso tool. Not that it really matters because remember this is just a guide for a painting. And inside here, I'm gonna, no, too strong. I might do the magic wand to an tool in here. Hold down shift to include all this area. And I can delete that as well. Like that. Okay, that's looking better. Okay, now I'm gonna zoom out. Oh yeah, now to get these two windows here, which are really useful, make sure that you go to window and you have the layers ticked, because you can't really operate without layers and also the navigator which is that one which I find quite useful as well there's lots of different windows as you can see but those are the two most important ones I guess definitely the layers okay so now we're going to drag this into our painting plan and again it's quite small so control T change the size up and again he can be sort of behind the cities like that if you want I'm going to get rid of that white around him. Okay, now I just need one more for my um, penny plan. Nah. That one looks quite cool, so I'm going to try and make um, the magic wand tool too strong. Bring down the top, just maybe 10. Too strong. 5? Mm, not strong enough. So I'm going to go for Quick Selection Tool, hold down Shift as you do these areas, and yeah, this is working better again. It's taking out a little bit too much, but that doesn't matter. And now I'm just going to use the Square Selection Tool to literally just cut that out. Okay, go back to my plan, paste it again. I better give these layers names, so I'm going to call this one Mike. This one, face. Control T to make it bigger again. There's still that white background around, so I'll just get rid of that with the magic wand tool. Cool. Now it's all interacting well. Now I've got to move them around and change the size until I'm happy with it. So I'm, I might have base. Um, on the side here, and I'll have it at the front of the, so the base comes in front. The mic one looks quite good in the middle. If you want to select something, just right click on it, and then you get the option, so it's background here, the base one, the mic. So that's through right clicking. So that looks good, it might make that one a bit, um, the face one the biggest. head can be there and this one looks good on the side because he's turning and again this one's good because it's above that one will look a bit weird if his hands behind that so I'm going to bring that one in front and then control D just make it bigger but not too much bigger I think I might keep this one smaller and off to the side okay okay so I'm happy with this for my plan for my painting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go image sorry layer I'm going to flatten that image, okay, and it turns all the layers into one. And now I'm going to save that in Student Shared as well. So in the same celebrity one that you did.